In this video, we will learn about hyperkalemia versus hypokalemia. I hope you guys know the normal potassium level is 3.5 to 5 milli equivalents per liter. So if the level is more than 5, it's called as hyperkalemia. And if the level falls below 3.5, it's called as hypokalemia. Now let's just learn about the sign and symptoms. So in hyper, you know that what's going to happen is it's a hyper state. So what's going to happen, the muscles are going to be tight and contracted. And as a result, when the muscles are tight and contracted, the patient experiences muscle cramps. Patient will also exhibit abnormal heart rhythms. And then you know, in the respiratory system, we also have muscles. So patient can also experience respiratory distress. Now let's just talk about hypokalemia where the level is less than 3.5 patient would have the generalized weakness of the muscles as the muscles are all relaxed they are weak patient would have GI symptoms including constipation because of decreased peristaltic movement and then patient would have decreased reflexes because muscles are relaxed and because the muscles are relaxed patient can have tingling and numbness. In both scenarios, you want to monitor the ECG because you know hypo and hyperkalemia both can lead to cardiac dysrhythmias. Now let's just quickly review about in hyperkalemia, remember hyper going up. So this means the patient would be presenting with tall T peak waves in the ECG. Whereas in hypo, which is going down, patient would have flattened T waves or inverted T waves. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for more videos and subscribe to FB and PC.